Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, bro. What an awesome two months. It was amazing. Fuck, it's sad to leave. I know, I'm really sad to leave you. Well, you to leave me as yeah. well. You'll be all right, though. I'll be fine. We've done pretty well yeah. these past two months. You've done very well. Yeah. So I'd like to think that, you know, I was there to support you and, like, help you out and you just spend time together. You were. Come Thanks, here. bro. Oh. Oh, I love you, man. I love you too, bro. Hey, how's it going, you severely decrepit individuals? I scripted that. Yep, anyways, uh, I'm in Candice because the audio is just way better. So as most of you know, a couple months ago, I actually left Hayden in LA, whom I was staying with for about two months. I came to meet the boys for Mike's birthday in the Netherlands. Super exciting. Chris, CK! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look at that. It's been so long, man. What the fuck? Yeah, it's weird to see you, bro. How weird is it? Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, my God. You're real. Oh, babe. Hey. How are you? Oh, nice to meet you. you. Yeah. Finally, in Everyone person. Lies. What the fuck? <laughs> it's really it's weird. Faye. Yeah. Oh my god. I met Faye for the first time. I also reunited with Liam. And we unknowingly embarked on the trip or the European trip of a lifetime. We had no idea what was ahead of us, but after some pretty solid discussions, previously in Melbourne, we were pretty across each other's perspectives, goals, and ambitions, and we knew that it was time to, to grind and pretty much go hard, whilst also, you know, traveling and enjoying each other's company on the other side of the world. So Mike called me whilst I was in LA, and he pitched me this amazing idea, which he was clearly passionate about. He wanted to combine some photography with some design work of my own and create some merchandise. It was exciting, and I obviously loved the idea. I just didn't know how it was gonna work or what we were gonna do. We hadn't done anything like this before within a within a week of me touching down we had already organized a fast as fuck supra don't ask me about the specs i think off the top of my head it might have been like 800 horsepower or some shit all i know is that it looked clean and it spat flames and that's fucking good enough for me so we helped mike shoot the car he insured some photography bangers and then he passed it over to me and i insured us some vectorized bangers in terms of the artwork itself, it took me about five hours to make, but to be honest, I had no idea how it was going to look initially, uh, especially in comparison to how I usually do my vector art. So after some idea generation and a little bit of rough mood boarding, we came to a conclusion that we would make it a bit more flowy, less geometric than what you guys are probably used to seeing. And so what I did was outline the car first and then kind of filled it in, uh, basing the colors off the red highlights. I stuck to a pretty solid color palette um, and then the black shadows as well. Like typically I only like to have three different colors, maybe four, ranging from like the darkest of shadows to the brightest of highlights and I was using the pencil tool to pretty much draw in everything and that's why it looks quite organic. It turned out fucking clean to be honest uh, especially considering I had no idea what it was going to look like. The poster also turned out pretty fucking clean too. With a bit more time invested we were able to make some awesome designs for the hoodies and the poster. Uh, they all vary. Uh, once we had the car, we could kind of make do with what we wanted to, but we made some fucking cool shit, in my opinion. So all throughout the Netherlands, we're in contact with our supplier. We're trying to get the best quality shit possible, but this was our first time going through these guys, and we had a little bit of issues, which is okay. Mate, this is fucking horrendous. Looks like a like a kid drew it. Oh, wow. I haven't even seen the artwork. That's disgusting. Yeah, the hoodie, the hoodie itself. It's also not Bro, so good. That does not do your artwork justice. But we had to troubleshoot them and make sure that the uh, quality of the hoodies were fucking good, but also the print was good too. We're not in any rush, so we'll make sure yeah. that we can get it good quality. Yeah. Up close, the quality just isn't that yeah, great, and I'm just not going to sell that product. Now, we weren't too happy with the black, nor did actually a lot of you say you wanted black, so we didn't actually use black. We decided to go with white, pink, and beige. So we kept trying. We wanted to ensure you guys absolute top tier notch level fucking quality and uh that's about the same time that the brand came along the ck north it was pretty hard to integrate both logos because they're so different um so we just went with something like this i actually think it looks fucking clean i mean we whipped it up pretty quickly but at the end of the day i mean you don't need to spend fucking hours on everything like sometimes it can just be good enough and you just move on 
And so this is the hoodie. It comes in three different colors and there's two different designs. One is definitely more typographic heavy. Uh, it's a bit more rounded, I would say. The other one's a little bit more geometric and sharp. It's got a bit more of a modern look. You guys found it hard to decide which one you preferred, so we gave you both. So it's gonna be a hard choice and if you do decide to purchase one, we're gonna be shipping them worldwide. You can also jump into our Discord channel. We have a specific section for the actual merchandise and for future drops, if you want to ask questions, if you've got any queries with uh, fulfillment, or you just want to fucking talk about how cool the quality is once you get them, then you can jump in there and uh, have a chat. Fuck me, it's so hot in this car, man. Fucking hell. We're probably going to most likely make more of these, to be honest. I would love to. I know Mike wants to as well. It's just something we don't want to completely commit to yet, but we want to make like... We want to make this a thing. We want to. This is red. This is the red fucking Supra. Well, then we're thinking of doing the blue G. Uh, we were thinking of doing a blue. Uh, fuck, was it a Subaru? I think it was a Subaru. But someone cancelled on us, and we couldn't do that, unfortunately. Well, guys, thanks very much for watching the video, <laughs> and we'll catch you in the next one because uh, the Subaru just cancelled. <laughs> we will, over maybe a year's time, actually bring out way more of these, and we don't know how long it's actually going to last. I mean, it could become a little bit of a collector's item if we decide to take them off the website, uh, which I think we will eventually, and then we, once we start making the next one and the next one and the next one, uh, there might be some prizes later down the track if you collect all of them, some shit like that. We like doing cool stuff like that. But that's definitely in the pipelines. Nothing's, nothing's decided upon yet. We just wanna see how this goes and test it out, all right? So if you wanna pick one up uh you're in two minds maybe just fucking send it so both mike and i are super proud of this launch honestly like we're proud of each other for fucking getting it done but we're also proud of the fact that it's original content and it's our own like there's no other form of uh like it's like it just like came from our minds and our, our teamwork together and we've just made it into a reality we love original content and we just love making something that's ours and to be able to build and grow the community with you guys through that passion, really. That's all, all it comes down to. And this is a pink one that has a different design on it. They look fucking amazing. Yeah, they look good. They look good. We are happy with them. But at the end of the day, making this type of content and living this type of lifestyle, uh, for me especially, it's like it becomes a bit, you know, sustainability becomes a lot more uh, prevalent within within my mind and you know the decisions that I make moving forward So I to be honest just want to give a massive thank you to Mike the cheeky little fuck for actually helping a brother out I mean just like J. Cole says Working together as a team is like something that we want to do more as this is the first time we're traveling together We're really just testing the waters and seeing like how this actually works So I mean you're supporting both of us and our whole team Haydos Lamont and Liam combined, but Thanks to Mike, honestly, because like this type of support means that I can travel longer. I can actually invest more time and uh, effort into pro pro providing you guys with good fucking content. That's what I want to do. And it makes me really proud to see you guys wearing our designs. So I'm fucking sweating balls over here. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, maybe consider slapping that big red juicy button. Uh, or you can help me out by just dropping some comments. Let me know what you think of this video uh, or of the merch, any ideas for the future, whatever. Obviously, I appreciate the support constantly. I think I tell you guys in every video I make, but there is a lot more content to come. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to make you guys more content, more merch, whatever the fuck it's going to be. I don't even know. I didn't even expect to be in this position, uh, you know, a year ago, six months ago. So there's much more content to come and it ain't stopping anytime soon. Much love, guys. I'll speak to you soon.